days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uver Academy. And then at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. You've been here for seven years already, it's time to get on with your life. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explain your independent study assignment. Okay, nice, what have I got? As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Oh, fantastic, we're, we're doing the whole Final Fantasy IX thing. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. And, okay, what? Like, do we, do we get specific treasures or can I just pick? You've all learned so much within the walls of our fine academy. Yeah. No, I haven't. <laughs> but now it's time for us to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. What on earth is this thing? Is this just showing me off a new Pokemon already? It's a big... It's a big... It's a big... What, what is it? It looks sort of like Miraidon. And sp speaking of Miraidon, I actually need to bring up... Last episode, I mispronounced his name a lot. I used to say it was Miraidon. I didn't see the A, in my defense. I'm a very bad reader. So, yeah, now I know it's Miraidon. Hey, look, uh, Cassiopeia here. Wait, this is that guy that hacks my phone, isn't it? I said this was the professor. Like, I'm kind of leaning towards this being the professor. I might be wrong, but I'm sticking with professor. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Okay, so... How is this game going to work out? Because I'm being told I can either go to the gyms or I can go to the Titans. And now I'm being told I can either go to the bases. Like, can I do all three? Or does it lock out certain things if I pick one and the other two aren't available no more? T-Star Grunts might get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. Thanks. That's very helpful. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Where well, we got the Fairy Crew, the Dark Crew, the Fighting Crew, the Poison Crew, and the Fire Crew. I... They're offering so much more for this game, which I appreciate because, you know, before it was always, I'll oh, go here, beat the gym, beat the gym, beat the gym, and that's the end of it. Like, now we've actually got more stuff to actually do. Okay, so I decided the first thing to do is to take on the gyms. So I'm heading out to the west to go and take on the bug type leader. So I'll be utilizing Fue Coco quite a bit. Okay, hello, Mr. Weird Tasmanian devil looking thing. Mastiff? It's another dog. If I really wanted to, I could have a team of dogs on this game. That would be fantastic. I, I might end up doing that if I can find a hand out. Right, let's use the Great Ball on you because you're a new Pokemon. And I don't want to end up accidentally killing you. And I don't want you to defeat my Wooper just yet. There we go. Mastiff. It's another dog to my team. I, I, I might actually end up swapping out with my Pokemon just for dogs. Just run around and be the dog trainer. That's what I'll do. Washing your Pokemon. When your Pokemon get dirty, you can give them a nice wash to have them looking fresh and clean. Doing so can have all kinds of nice benefits, including restoring the HP or making them feel friendly towards you. I can wash my Fido with a Mareep sponge. Oh my god, this is the best game ever. This is the best game ever. I love it. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> why is this not working? Oh, that's why it's not working. I got It's a hold why. Oh, look at that. Fido looking all nice and fresh and delicious. Oh god, I'm feeling hungry now. I'm not going to eat you, Fido, don't worry. I'm not sure if I like how the gyms look in this game, but whatever, it's fine. So this is the bug type gym. I've prepared Fue Coco specifically for this. Oh, fantastic, look who beat me here, it's Nimona. God, I really don't want to run into you again so soon. Into this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? No. <laughs> Absolutely not, what made you think that? Yeah, sure not. Just came to the gym for a bit of sightseeing, right? <laughs> you fibber. I mean, what, do, you want, do you want a battle or something? Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Okay, what is their gym test? Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Welcome to the Cartondo gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Lucky, yes? Very nice to meet you. Loving the suit, by the way. Very flash. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cartondo gym, that means taking the olive roll. What is the olive roll? Olive production is a big part of life in Contondo. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here for years, or for gen each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the... Oh, that's not too hard, then. I can do that. Right, time to get this bad boy rolling. This kind of reminds me of um, the first gym in the Galarian region, where you need to take on... I don't know his name. I used to just call him Krillin, because he has no nose. It's the guy that has the, the grass types, I think, and you have to roll the, the woolies. Come on, nearly there. Fantastic. I mean, I, I kind of wish one of the challenges were to be like, you know, defeat all the trainers in my gym. I mean, because that, that is a thing that you could do in the old gyms. Why is this not counting? There we go. 
I swear I had that in there twice. But yeah, I mean, you know, you know when you go through the gyms and to get to the leader, you got to do some sort of puzzle. But on the way, there are people you got to battle. It's like, I'm hoping that's one of the gym challenges, really, because I just, I just like to battle. I need to get my, my, my levels up. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't exactly hard to do, but thanks for the compliment, I guess. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. If it wasn't obvious already, I'm Katie. All right, first off is her nimble. I've already caught myself one of these because I've discovered raids, and this was the first Pokemon that I caught, and the only Pokemon. But yeah, I, I taught Fue Coco Incinerate when I caught this bad boy, so I was very happy about that. It's gonna make this gym very easy for me. Right, I see you too have a Trouchula. Like, what level does this thing evolve? Because hers is 14 and hasn't done it yet. I, Teddy Ursa. Wait, hold up a second. You're, you're supposed to be a bug type gym leader, aren't you? Don't tell me they've made a bug type Teddy Ursa. How would that even work out? Okay, well, I've got low kick. We'll, 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 use, we'll, we'll use Wooper. I don't think I've got any other fighting type abilities, so it's just going to be Wooper at this point. Wait, I've just come to the conclusion that because of the whole terror ability things, Teddy Ursa can turn into a bug type. I completely forgot about that, and I've just swapped out for Wooper. Oh boy. Okay, uh, we're just gonna have to gonna have to go with the flow. Okay, well, I made a very big mistake here because um, Teddy Ursa is very vicious with Fury Swipes. It just completely ruined Wooper, and I used my Terror ability with it, thinking I could win. Yeah, it didn't work out. Didn't even do that much damage to him either. That's that's mental. All right, time for the finishing blow, Fue Coco. Here we go. Down it goes. I should have just stuck with Fue Coco from the beginning. I don't know why I swapped. It's because in my head. I thought she's bringing out a normal type in a bug type match. And I thought, sure, okay, why not? Let me just pull out my one Pokemon that knows the fighting attack. And then I realized, oh yes, the terror abilities. And I probably should have swapped out for Fue Coco again afterwards. But doesn't matter. I still beat her. First gym's down. <laughs> Look at that face! He's so dopey looking. It's just the first thing that I see. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what you evolve into. <laughs> Mouth wide open, just staring. Oh. Oh, oh, oh I, I no longer like you anymore. <laughs> really? <laughs> you don't get any animation. Like, yeah, you got the you got the badge. It's taken a picture of the person I've just beaten, and I'm stuffing my face with her cakes. And she's just winking at the camera. Like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> she's trying to fatten me up now with her food. She's trying to get me addicted to the sugar. All right, next place I want to go is to take on the psychic type gym leader because she's the closest thing to me at the moment. I'm hoping what I said in the last video comes to fruition, wherein I can take on any gym in the order I want, but they will be level scaled towards me and will progressively get harder depending on which one I take on next, because that would be a really good idea. I genuinely feel as though I've got myself lost. Like, I've sidetracked myself so many times looking for Pokemon and items that I've genuinely forgotten where I was supposed to be going. <laughs> Like, there was like a bridge or something I'm looking for, but all I'm seeing is field lands and giant craters. What is that thing? What is that? Is that a rock? It... Oh, that reminds me. I need to start playing Super Mario more. Seriously, this... this that's the idea for their new Pokemon. It's a Super Mario mushroom. Alright, Nackley. I mean, I, I see what they're trying to do with the name of it, but it's just... The execution, it just looks like... I, if I eat this thing, I'm just going to get bigger. <laughs> I'm just I'm just looking at this and it's just screaming Super Mario. Oh, hello. And now Tarantula is evolving. I mean, I'm glad he is really because I've not used it. I've just kept it in to evolve it because it's early stage bug type. I... Spidops. It, it looks like a giant clump of celery. <laughs> okay, then. I'm not sure I like how Ghastly looks on this game. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the gas itself that surrounds its body. It just doesn't look right for some reason. I'm not that far from where we're supposed to go. It looks like I've got to go through this cave. So it shouldn't take too long. The fella that I just had a battle with said that all the Pokemon in there are really strong. So this can either be really good for me or maybe I have just entered into territory I shouldn't have just yet. Oh boy, that Sableye is level 38. Yeah, this is territory I shouldn't be entering right now, isn't it? <laughs> Yo, looker. So from what I gather, it seems the Open Sky Titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all sort of crazy boulders raining down from the mountain too. It's going to be a little tricky to stand around and look for the Titan while dodging all of those. I think you'll be sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder, but maybe you could power your way through the top of that brute of yours. I'm going to just get attacked by this thing. Oh, hello, what are you? What a weird looking poke. Is it eating a... It's got like a beard and it's got it in its mouth. What is this thing? Is it an albatross? No, it's a stalk. That's Bombardier, or Bombardier, okay, that's actually a pretty cool name. 
Oh, this is probably going to be difficult. The first thing I'm going to do is activate my terror powers and use Hone Claws, because that's going to buff up my accuracy and my damage, which I'm hoping will help me out a lot here with Mastiff. Well, that was um, a waste, because I didn't even land a single hit on him. <laughs> oh god, that's going to really ruin him. Um, you're just a fire type, so I could just bring you in. He's got rocks. Oh, man. Oh, what am I going to do about this? Uh, I guess I can bring in Fido. Damage-wise, he hurts, like, really bad. So he's obviously got to be about level 25, surely. But when it comes to his defense and his health, it's not the best. Where are you going? You're, you're just flying into the wall. Are you okay? Okay, he's just breaking. Okay. I thought the game had ruined itself for a second then. <laughs> Wait, so do I not defeat you? The Titan Bombardier began eating something. What is it eating? Are you here to help me? Heal me, please? That would be nice also. So that's the open square Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. Yeah, I'm so happy you got up here unscathed. Not like I want you to get crushed by a boulder or anything. It looks like it's trying to power itself up. Like with some kind of mystical mill power or something. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, so we better get ready to go all out. I'm not ready to do anything at the moment. I'm still injured. Yeah, good, good, good. Go, go, go for him. You leave my poor trunk alone. Oh my god, that did nothing. And disarming voices are super effective. Okay, it's, it's all looking on him now because nothing else is working. I think all I can do is just be support at this point. Okay, we should be able to finish him off. No, my God. <gasps> oh. My poor Lechonk nearly just faced its demise in that one hit. That's crazy. Or at least Bombardier is down. If it wants to sort of shrink down a little bit and get in my Pokeball, that would also be very nice. No, it just wants to disappear. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> oh, look how happy he is. I'm just happy Lechonk's happy. No way. What have you found? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? I don't have to do any exploring, right? Okay, good. Fantastic. So we came in here just for that little bit. Did that greedy bird really sit there and eat the rest of the stash and it's just left with that? Oh, this is one of those Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looks in the book. You're going to grab it then? Because I know this is what you want. The bitter Herba Mystica. He said he wanted to make a sandwich out of this earlier, so I'm kind of hoping I'm not doing this just to feed him. Oh, we actually found one. And it's all thanks to you, Looker. Yeah, you're thanking me now, but the first time we met, you severely disliked me. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter herb and mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. And that warms you right up nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Wow, this is a good plot. Right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Oh, I... <laughs> his face is my reaction. Like, oh, do I really have to? Oh, God, I have to sit here and wait for him to cook now. Here you go. An oven original sandwich packed full of herbs. And it'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you. Oh, I'll even give you a badge. That's, thanks, but I don't want none of your badges. I'll call it the Titan badge. Made it myself. And using a replica of gym badges, you see. I, 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 don't, I don't want to be rude or anything, but, you know, that sandwich looks rancid. I'm not touching that. <laughs> oh, boy. Someone tells me your cooking skills aren't exactly as good as you think. Is he really going to make me eat it? He's, he's nodding his head like, yes, come on, take that big first bite into it. Oh, oh good, Miradon, <laughs> you're here to save me from this killer sandwich. Hey, no, 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 that's not for you. <sighs> no, no, you, you can have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, here you go, just have it. <laughs> you, you saw my face with it, I don't want it. <laughs> I'm having all the trouble of making that for you and just gave it away. I didn't want it in the first place. I hope you realise that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. That's totally fine. <laughs> oh, I've just broken his spirit just for my own selfishness. Oh, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm a selfish jerk here. Here you go. You can have half of mine, but you better save it every last bite. Hey, uh, Miradon, do you want my sandwich? <laughs> oh, what is going on with you? You'll be able to move across water. What, because you ate a sandwich and you can now skate across the ocean? I mean, I'm happy, but why is that a thing? Never mind. Where do I want to go next? Because I can now skate on the water, so... Should I take out this dude because he is the closest thing to me? Yeah, I think I'll set a destination for him actually because all I've got to do is just cross the water. So I'm guessing that's why they made me come around here so that I can get the ability to actually progress towards him. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that next time I play this. So 
I hope everybody enjoyed the episode of Pokemon Violet. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.